Hey YouTube, so this was going to be an update on the throttle response that I was supposed to install. Unfortunately, they sent me the wrong one. I contacted uh, the company that I bought it off of through eBay. I just told them just to send me my money back and a return label. They can have the unit back in the description. It clearly states it's for my vehicle. I even contacted eBay in regards to the situation. Uh, this opened up a case for me so yeah i'm just waiting for my well the return label i have to send it back to them once they receive it they will issue me a full refund i've already uh purchased another one through race chip their actual site and um yeah uh, i can't give you an update until then so un that's unfortunate but fortunately i do have my tuning box my new one that i'm going to get uh sorry that i'm going to install that i already received from race chip um, I've already opened everything up in my engine bay. I cleaned my filter and it's, so it's easy just to get to right now. So I'm going to do that and then do a comparison on my, uh, chip work chip and my, uh, race chip tuning box. So I'm going to show you what I've done already. Now and I'll show you the chip, the chip that I have right now installed in my. So this is what I've already started. I, I took my whole intake box out. I actually cleaned it. Uh, there was a little bit of oil. I noticed that uh, there was a rubber seal where, um, actually it's somewhere down here. Anyways, uh, it was kind of um, warped, stretched. I fixed it because there's a little bit of oil residue, probably from over spillage from when I do my oil change and it just got sucked in. So I cleaned my air filter and before I went in or before I'm going to install, I'm going to actually install my tuning box. So there's my chip work right here. I'm going to do a comparison. I have this strong feeling that the race chip is going to be much better than that one. Not to say that that's bad, but I just have this, I have this feeling, but you know, and until I take a first spin, I won't know for certain. And uh, before I install everything back, this is the, oh, sorry, um, maybe I should get a light in here. Okay, so ooh, I don't know what the hell that is oil. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna clean all this up before I close everything up. But there, this is the one I gotta replace. Or sorry, not replace, but connect to. And the one also right here. There's the second one. So that sensor and that sensor right there is what I got to get to. So, like I said, everything's disconnected. Perfect time to install the race chip. And let me give, show you what the race chip looks like. The tuning box. So, there's your tuning box. Bluetooth compatible. So, you just got to pay extra for the barcode app. You simply download it. And that's it. Here's the wiring harness right there. Uh, this, fortunately, is the right one. <laughs> Like I said, this one came straight from Race Trip, so uh, I should have just probably did that from the beginning. But anyways, live and learn. Um, same concept. All you got to do is there's the box. This connects into that. These connectors piggyback to the sensors. They're actually really good. Customer service is amazing. Uh, they sent me a diagram, and it's a it's a generic di um, instruction manual. Um, but because I, I have multiple sensors, I want to confirm exactly what sensor it was. They asked for pictures of my actual engine. I sent it to them and they went step by step through a PDF on what cable, a cable A and cable B connects to. Great customer service. I can't say enough about that. So that being said, I'm going to connect everything and uh, keep an eye out for my updated video on this race chip tuning box. Thanks for watching.